Mr. Uwe, the Deputy Secretary of the Communist Party of China, Nanshal District Committee, and head of Nanshal District, Mr. Xia Wing, Deputy Secretary of the Party Working Committee of Nansha Development Zone, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Bulunaka, Nihao, and a very good morning to you all. It is my pleasure to be here in Nansha this morning to celebrate with you the inauguration ceremony of the Fijian Culture, Tourism and Art Exchange Center, commonly known as the Fiji Pavilion. On behalf of the government of Fiji, the president of Fiji, the prime minister of Fiji, and the Fijian delegation that is headed by the uh, Minister for Fisheries and I, as Minister of Agriculture, I would like to express our sincere gratitude to the Municipal Government of Guangzhou and the Nensha District Foreign Affairs Office for their unwavering support to see this project through. Our deep appreciation goes to the management of Nansha Bird Park for hosting this Fiji Pavilion. A big thank you to all those who worked tirelessly behind the scenes over the last few years in making this project possible. The Fiji Pavilion is beautiful and the platform it offers to enhance cooperation is unprecedented. The Fijian government is extremely grateful to the Guangdong provincial government for the opportunity on the understanding that there are 74 other cities that are queuing up for a place in Nansha Burpa. Thank you very much. Since establishing the diplomatic relations in 1975, the friendship and bilateral relations between Fiji and China has grown significantly in all fields of cooperation. Fiji was among the first countries in the Pacific to endorse China's Belt and Road Initiative. Fiji has enjoyed 48 years of friendly diplomatic relations with China and with the diplomatic relations comes Fiji's unwavering respect of the one China policy. The two countries cooperate on many important international issues in the United Nations such as climate change and peacekeeping. China is also a development partner to the Pacific Islands Forum and has contributed enormously to the growth and development of the Pacific Island countries, particularly its assistance in large infrastructure projects and natural disaster relief efforts. Ladies and gentlemen, under the Belt and Road Initiative, Guangdong is designated to cooperate with the Pacific Island countries, while Guangzhou is the cooperation partner of Fiji. The, the inaugural China Pacific Island Countries Fisheries Cooperation and Development Forum was held on the 8th of December 2021 in Guangzhou and it provided a strong footing for advancing fisheries cooperation between Fiji and China. In the last three days, I attended along with my fellow Fijian fisheries minister the second forum on China Pacific Island countries' agricultural 
and Fisheries Ministers meeting 2023 in Nanjing. Fiji's rich farmland and pristine waters and abundant marine biodiversity make it a prominent player in the agricultural and fishery sectors. The Fiji team in China, through the efforts of the Fiji Embassy in Beijing and the Fiji Consul General, Trade Commission in Shanghai, we are committed to working with China to advance trade, investment, tourism, education, and sporting arts and cultural exchanges. The Fiji and Culture, Tourism, and Art Exchange Center has therefore laid the groundwork for unprecedented opportunities to leverage the complementary resources of Fiji and China for greater cooperation and mutual benefits. I wish the Fiji Pavilion great success as a public-private partnership platform in promoting bilateral relations between Fiji and China. It can be an invisible bridge that helps our people to cross the Pacific Oceans, bringing us more closely together. Thank you. Another one